What's up, Big Time Game? In this video, I want to show you uh, watch maintenance. Um, Michael Carson provided me a polishing video, and I showed you how I scrub a watch with a toothbrush and warm water and uh, dish soap. And I just wanted to show you how not to maintain your watch. Now, this is not mine, but look at that buildup and gunk in there. That is not how you take care of a watch. I mean, that's just nasty. So I suggest you go look at your collection. And if you got anything like this, clean that. That's just wrong. But anyway, so coming up, I'll show you uh, how to clean it with a toothbrush. And this is a real quick video of how I do it. And it doesn't have to be screwed down. You just have to be liberal with the water. Don't, don't drown the watch. Don't submerge the watch. If it's a screw down, it doesn't really matter. It's watertight. If it's not screwed down, which the loop I'm doing in the video, it's not a screw down watch. So just be careful. You know, make sure the crown is pushed all the way in. And uh, the most important part is just getting the scum and nastiness off of it. And then uh, um, make sure you dry it off with a nice, you know, clean cloth, not to scratch it up. And then uh, Mike Carson will show you at the end um, how to polish your watch. And there's different ways of polishing. He has a machine. A polisher which uh, most of us don't have but uh, that's the best way to do it if you don't have the machine there's also a uh, um, class you can buy like on Amazon that are polishing class that you can polish your uh, watch with but anyway stay tuned I uh, hope this helps you guys if you weren't really sure how to clean your watch and I clean my watch normally um, after every two or three wears I don't want clean it everywhere but you'll know you know you'll see a little bit of dead skin or something get on the case back and you know it's time and I wear my watch all day so they can get nasty quick so anyway stay tuned welcome back to another video so uh, I wanted to show cleaning your watch simple cleaning and how it's done so, just watching the battery change is my buddy's watch, but um, it's pretty filthy. So, I don't like to open the case back when it's got gunk on it. It's seen better days. It's an older watch, Lupa. So, I'm going to uh, give it a little scrub. Now, you don't want to have your watch under the faucet if it's not a screw down which is super isn't so I'm using dish soap and a little bit of a warm water I'm just gonna scrub it down Now this is like a important maintenance. Um, this is the stuff that I do my watches almost every time I wear them. Not every time because sometimes I'm just lazy. I get home late or whatever the case may be, and I don't uh, clean them off. But it's just good to get your oils off and all your dead skin and all that good stuff. And I know it sounds nasty, but it's true. So uh, it's important just to uh, clean it up after yourself. So as you see, I'm doing the case back, dial, the uh, outside and inside of the bracelet. And these are stainless steel. They're durable. So I'm not being too gentle, even though this is a soft bristle toothbrush. And don't worry, I will not be brushing my teeth with this toothbrush afterwards. So now, just a gentle rinse. Yeah, down a little bit. Now I use warm water. I don't use scalding hot. I don't use cold. Much better. So anyway, uh, battery video coming on this one very soon. But uh, that's just another little tip. How to maintain and keep your watch clean very simple and if you use 
the water sparingly, you will not damage your watch. If you're shopping for a watch, make sure to check out Georgia Mountain Watches. Link will be in the description. All right, uh, this is just a, a quick example of what you can do, um, on, especially on your high polished watches because um, they scratch easy. Everybody that's ever owned a, a high polish knows that it doesn't take anything, uh, uh, very, very little marks. Um, as you can see on this one, this is my daily wear. Um, I polish it, oh, I don't know, once a week or something like that, and it, it's 90% the camera will always make it look worse than what it really is. Anyways, you can still see it's got a pretty good uh, polish to it. Um, this one is, a, I just found an old nasty watch that uh, has got a, a brush finish on it. Um, I use, uh, they, 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 they uh, on these polishers, and I bought a, I bought a pretty small one. Um, I think it's only, uh, it's only 200 watts. Um, I turned it up about halfway. Um, they, th these, um, these polish, um, things are, are just different colors. There's red and black. What else is there, Tina? There's green, green blue, blue, different one. Yeah. Anyways, for silver, I use green. So, um, uh, I'll give you the first, the first, uh, bit of guidance I can tell you is less is better. Um, do a little bit and, uh, I add a little bit there. I barely used any of it. And then, you can see on this, I'll just use this as an example, I turned about halfway up. And I put a pretty good amount of pressure on it. I'm going to say, oh, six, seven pounds of pressure if I had to guess. Um, this stuff's also not very good for you. Um, you really should wear um, a mask. Uh, Tina, whenever she's working on this, she always wears the mask 100% of the time. She does most of the work, though. Um, I don't. Um, so I hit it a little bit. But all I'm doing is just holding it on there. Um, I don't know if the camera's showing this, how well the camera shows, but yeah. here, here's what it was looking like over here. And this is just, you know, in the 10 seconds that I ran it on there. Um, invest $50, $60 in one of these. Um, use it in your garage. If you can show them a shot of that. This is just in a couple of days, the dust that it throws on out. I'm doing this down in my basement, but it does throw a lot of dust. Um, invest in these. They're all over eBay and they're super cheap. Uh, and it'll save you from, uh, going to heaven to visit a, uh, cancer doctor in 30 years. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's it.